in LTM. Gordons. The Bible says if, G, if the book was to record everything that Jesus did, say the whole world will not be enough to contain the books. That was my story. Hello? My papa born 12 children. Papa and mama who were living in one room. Hello? One room. The highest electronics was silicon. And that silicon was also alarm. Because when 5 a.m. Dorish, and you know grease the fan, when it won't stop, you go, man, hey! Whoa! Hey! Wow, glory to God, glory to God. I know you are blessed, I know you're blessed. And right now in the studio, I want to surprise you of something that's gonna bless your life. You know, last time you saw a son, a bookie for Christ, and uh, this time around, we have a father, father of comedy, all the way from Nigeria, who honored Cameroon, and he's here today in midst. We are so happy he's not just a comedian, but filled with spirituality, and he will given us one or two words to encourage us. And I don't know that advice, but there is a higher stuff coming this year where Cameroon is going to shake first of its kind. So let's welcome to the studio, Mr. Godons from Nigeria. Welcome. Bless you, welcome. Bless you. God bless you. So you tell us, yeah. how has been the place since you came? Oh, <laughs> honestly, uh, I'm someone who... Cameroon, how you doing? My name is Godons. They call me uh, the Comedy Bellisconi. And I'm the bishop of the Osuso ministry worldwide. And I decided to visit my branch here just to make sure that uh, they also have impactation of what the ministry is giving. Uh, honestly, since I came, I've been in town for like uh, three days now. And I tell you the truth, I have never experienced true Africanism like the way I have for these past three days that I've been in your town. Everything about this town is good. Fresh food, fresh atmosphere, nice people, hospitable people. I'll tell you the truth, I, I've heard so much about Cameroon that you need to come to Cameroon. And I didn't expect this level. It's been awesome. In fact, going back now is a problem because <laughs> now I know why the disciples said, Father, let's build a temple here. One for you, one for this, and one for that. You know, thank you very much for having me, and it's been a wonderful experience. That's it. Okay. Gordons in LTM. Gordons. That's wonderful, that's wonderful. So we really thank God he is here. And uh, we, he will talk a little bit again about something, though not yet arranged, but an atmosphere. It is going to be a program to shake the whole world. This is, uh, uh, is it comedy and laughter, laughter and, and miracles. Laughter and miracles. So we're going to be having enough comedians from Nigeria. And I'm going to be there myself. For God to show power, as we have always seen. Laughter and miracles. I'm not sure you want to hear it. You have to be present. So let's hear a little bit about laughter and miracles. Okay, what the Lord lays in my heart uh, early this year is to start raising disciples who will, in return, impact other people. That way the kingdom can expand. Uh, since I came, I discovered that there's a lot of potential here for entertainment. A lot in entertainment here. And I feel if we continue to come here and impact the people, they can themselves get up and build an industry okay. out of it. The Bible says you will be a witness in Judea, in Jerusalem, in, in the utmost part of the earth. So uh, what we want to do, we want to be able to do laughter and miracle around many states in Cameroon. Not just uh, Buya or Limbe or is it Kumba they call it? Uh, we also want to go all the way to uh, uh, Yaoundé and Douala because we also have some French speaking comedians back home who, who are members of the kingdom. So I believe this year we want to do that. We want to do that, we bring at least like five grounded, well-arranged, spirit-filled comedian to come from our country. And then we do a show here. After that, we do a seminar 
to educate and train or even do a discovery time for younger generation who want to be in comedy. We discover them and if they are good, we can be taking them to Nigeria. That way they will be trained and when they come back, you discover that they would have been strong enough to handle any audience. I think that's what we should do this year, sir. Wow. Gordon's in LTM. Gordon's. All right, Cameron, I must say to you that sometimes a prophet is without honor in his own dwelling place. I came into this place five minutes and I was already on fire. Once you are anointed, you can't deny it. And, sir, the anointing attracts a lot, good, bad, and evil. And you have people slander you, you have people say all kind of things against you. But since I came into this uh, Life Transformers ministry, I have been experiencing transformation inwardly. You, what do you know about ministry, if the ministry is alive or not? When you see the people, you will know if, the, if what they are being fed with is life. Because every ministry is a product of their pastor. If the pastor is dead, the people will be dead. Because anointing starts from the head and then it flows down. I came in here, if you're not part of this church, I encourage you to be a part of this church. This church is just two years. I have never been anywhere in this world and see this massive people in two years. That must be a lot of grace. That didn't come by any other thing but the grace of God. If God is not reaching out to you where you are, sometimes where you worship matters. Wow. <laughs> you, you need to just try some of the places and see your level of experience of God. I tell you, God is here and everything that is being done here, God is behind it. And if you be part of this ministry, I tell you the truth, you will not, you will not regret it. Don't worry, when we come for laugh, laughter and miracle, you will see it move to another level. God bless you very much. Okay. All right, what's up, people? This is your boy, God knows, aka Comedy Bellescode, all the way from Nigeria. I want to say to you, please keep watching Transformers TV. Your life will be transformed. Hallelujah. <laughs>